Clip George back again, and boy, have I got something fun to show you today. If you're anything like me, there's times where a data lake feels more like a data swamp. And what we've done is created something here called a data concierge to help you avoid drowning in the data lake. What it's going to do is let me browse through my source. And so what I'm doing is I can come in here and it says, hey, pick your connection. What server do you want to connect to? Well, I'm going to connect to this Impala cluster that we have um, running on our demo site. And I'm going to say that I want to apply this. And what it's doing is it goes out to the Cloudera catalogs and browses through all the metadata. It's telling me on that server, you've got 15 different databases which contain a total of 410 million rows of data, 187 distinct values in that data. That's an awful lot of data. Let's narrow this down a little bit. So I, it shows me what my different databases are. I'm going to pick the click to go database here. And what it's done, just like you would expect with anything in Click, it's now been responsive to my selections. It's filtered down. It tells me this is how many rows are available. Why don't you pick a table? I'm going to pick the products table. And again, everything's responsive. I see now that I've got 1,977 rows with 9,422 distinct values of columns in there. I want to pick the columns I'm looking for. Maybe I want to see the product category. I want to see a product name. I want to see a unit cost, a unit price. I want to see vendors. And I can pick and choose the fields that are in that table, right? It's just giving me these things here in a nice way. I can pick this stuff. If I wanted to apply a limit, I could come in and say, hey, only read a thousand of the rows instead. Um, or I can tell it, hey, I'd like this to be more of a direct query um, to where I have to push the data, I have to pull the data on the fly as the end user. I don't have that much data here, so I'm not going to worry about limited. I'm going to say I want to apply that table. It builds it for me. It would show me the script. Hey, here's the script code that you can use. Hey, I'm not a, I'm not a developer. I don't want to see that scripting stuff. Um, I could add other tables. If I want to bring multiple tables back, I can do that. But for the sake of, of time, I'm just going to go ahead and say that's the table I'm looking for. I want you to apply that. It comes out and shows me and says, hey, by the way, you're good to go now. If you'd like me to, I will create an application that you can now start playing with that data. And I'm like, well, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'd like you to do. I press create application. What it's doing is it's using our APIs behind the scenes. Um, so if, if there's one subject matter I've covered over and over and over is the fact that ClickSense has no defining box. Our box is the fact that everything in ClickSense is an open API. What this mashup has done is let me browse metadata using a REST API, bring the data in, pick my data and actually create an app on the fly to browse that data. Well, I would love to go open that app now. I want to start playing with my data. I want to be ready to go. I go out, I create my new sheet, typical click sent stuff, right? What I'm going to do is come down to fields and oh my gosh, there's the fields I've chosen. I can see product categories. I can see the product names. I can see product vendors. Ah, you know what? I'd like to see a bar chart where I can see how many products I have. So let me see my categories. And now I'd like to see based on product name, how many of each product I have in that category. I can start playing with my data. Click data concierge. Yeah, it's kind of like a life preserver to keep you from drowning in that data swamp. I, I, I mean that data lake you have. Hey, I've got a lot more stuff I got to get done today. Hope you've enjoyed this.